Colin took us through it then. He picked the ball up 25 yards from goal. What goes through your head? At that time, I was thinking, try and cut inside, get a shot. Um, yeah, as soon, soon as I got the ball, there was only one thing on my mind. I just got a clean strike on goal, and yeah, luckily it went in. Couldn't have hit much sweeter, could you? I haven't hit one like that for a while. Um, so, and it was coming as well. It was I was due one, so and in that fashion, I was yeah, I'm, I'm more than pleased. And what a time to score, because a goal at that stage of the game was going to win it for either side, and you had to battle to stay in the game for long periods, and then you finally got your chance. Yeah, they, they were piling on the pressure. Um, we were under the cosh a little bit, and yeah, we've always been uh, dangerous on the counter, and that's what happened there. And yeah, it's, yeah, just thankful it went in. And you get the old Kevin uh, Eric Cantona celebration. He <laughs> stood there and admired it. Uh, yeah, to be honest, uh, I, I, I don't know. I can't really remember. To be honest, I just as soon as it went in, uh, I was just I was just buzzing there. <laughs> and your teammates certainly enjoyed. It. I, I absolutely mob. Yeah, as, as I said, it's been a it's been a frustrating goal wise for a few weeks, months um, for me. So they were they were yeah they were chuffed for me. So yeah, it's good stuff. And your first goal under the new manager. Pleased to impress the new boss. Yeah, you know, at this it's just all about getting three points, um, and I think we're, we're on 54, 54 points now. So he's done a he's done a brilliant job on each and on He's only we've only lost one since he's been here. So. Um, it's it's been a positive, uh, yeah. An hour of this game, you were sat on the bench watching your side battle to try and stay in it. Um, it, it was a game of high pace, um, end, end to end stuff at times, and you, certainly your goalkeeper Alex Cairns had to had, had to be quite smart to keep it, keep you in it. Yeah, we expected that. Um, they below us that they, 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 they really need a win, so we was always ex expecting a lot of pressure. They were good football inside and. Um, the back, the black lad, uh, the back lads, um, goalkeeper. Yeah, it's, it's credit to them. And there has been an incredible turnaround under John Sheridan. But to turn things around so quickly from Saturday as well, your manager wasn't impressed with the performance. His his first defeat on Saturday, but to come back and and turn it around here tonight must be really pleasing for the dressing room. Yeah, hundred percent. It's how you it's how you bounce back from a loss, and we showed that tonight. So the, the lads are pleased to pack our bags, move on, and go again Saturday now. What was said in those two days before, after Saturday's game? Well, that team, we've, been, we've been pretty solid um, since, he, since he has come in. Um, and the defeat, I don't think it got to the lads too much. Um, we always knew a few days later we'd get the chance to put it right and we did that tonight. And when does that goal rank in the best you've scored in your career? A goal that sealed the club's place in League One for next season? Yeah, it's up there. Um, I wouldn't say it's number one, but it's 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 definitely up there, yeah. Pretty special memories of it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You were moved to the bench today, Connor. Was mm. that kind of a statement in your intent coming off, you know, point to prove sort of thing? Um, you know, you've always got a point to prove every time you you put the shirt on, um, and we just need we we just needed the win. Um, so yeah, it's well, credit to the lads. Uh, they stuck in there and they were pretty solid, yeah. And going into a game against Blackpool, big local derby. How important is it to get the local bragging rights in that game? Very. Um, you want to you want to give something back to the fans, and th that's a game really we need to we need to put in a good shift and hopefully give the fans something to cheer about. And the club is safe now. You signed a three-year contract when you arrived mm. in the summer. Are you still committed for a better season next season? I need a better season next season. Um, you always want a better. <clears throat> the season before, uh, it's been a frustrating season personally. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to be looking to um, improve that. Yeah. Well, personally, how good is it now to be injury free for as long as you have been? Yeah, it's de it's definitely it's, it's good for the mind and I'm just taking game by game and uh, yeah, hopefully finish the season off uh, fit and strong and back at it um, in the summer. John's just said you tend to beat yourself up a bit too much. Is that something that you're working on, trying to stop? I've always had high standards, personally. Um, I always want to, yeah. You, you always want to better your performance, and if if it's not up to your standards, it's um, be a little bit hard on yourself. But yeah, that's just that's just the way I am. Um, I'll always set my standards high, and, and if I'm not reaching them, and I'll try my best too. And any place to restart your goal scoring form, you definitely know how to score here, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've got good memories here, so. I'm just yeah. I'm just, I'm just glad we got the three points and back on the road. And any personal targets for the final four? Um, yeah, a few more goals hopefully. Um, 
just yeah, just good performances, a few more goals, see what happens.